stepping on the beach. <laughs> doo, doo, doo. Since his debut in 1999, SpongeBob's gone from TV to toothpaste, billboards to Broadway, and so many memes to become arguably the most iconic cartoon in history, or at least the one with the most iconic laugh. I'm Tara Bennett, a senior producer for Sci-Fi Wire and a lifelong SpongeBob SquarePants series fan. With the show celebrating its 20th anniversary, I navigated to Nickelodeon Studios in Burbank, California to meet the voice cast and grill them about the show. I love the grill. <laughs> I'm not a stranger to the grill. This is Sci-Fi Wire's SpongeBob 20 Years, 20 Questions. Okay, you ready? Question number one. What SpongeBob song gets stuck in your head the most? Oh, man. Wish I was back in Texas. <laughs> the ocean's no place for a squirrel. Wish I was in Texas. Prettiest place in the world. F is for friends yeah. that oh, that's my come together. together. <laughs> A is for anywhere and anytime at all. Down here is the deep blue sea. F is for fire that burns down the whole town. No. Use for uranium. No. Bombs. N is for no survivors. What was the Krusty Krab's original name? <laughs> you have to understand how many of our brain cells have died in 20 years. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It's called the Rusty Crab. It was the retirement home that Mr. Krabs converted uh, into the right. Krusty oh. Krab. <laughs> Tom, what was SpongeBob's name before he was SpongeBob? Oh, it, it was SpongeBob. Jeez, I can answer that. Yeah, that was easy. On that one. <laughs> All right, no, easy one. What superlative was Squidward voted in high school? Least likely to be successful. I have no idea. You, Squidward Tentacles, voted most likely to suck eggs. Oh, oh. <laughs> even better. Patrick has a phobia of what? Spiders, spiders, spiders! Oh, spiders! Spiders! Get them off me! Get them off me! What is Plankton's favorite food Karen makes for him? Wow. Mm. Holographic meatloaf. My favorite! Didn't it's know that one. On wow. Me, right? <laughs> no, I thought it would pop in there, but it, it just... We nothing. I was like, terrible. Wow. What's your name? Sandy. Question seven. How did Sandy get to Bikini Bottom? I, I, I know she's a scientist, and I know she went down to do research. You that's right. That's it. Yeah, that's, that's it. Yeehaw! My newest science book has arrived. All right. It is time to talk memes. They're everywhere and your characters are part of them. Why are they the biggest thing on the planet? I think what's interesting about it is that it's a lot of times what that pose is used to convey in the meme is not at all close to the original use of it in the show. <laughs> right, that's right. right? Like it's the Spongebob totally chicken invented. one that was maybe the, the counter one that started it all. Something else that was it, like, yeah. yee, 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 where you're making fun of somebody. That was not Spongebob making fun of somebody. That's right. And the characters are so uniquely recognizable. I was just walking down the street in Paris a couple weeks ago, oh. and just, something caught oh, my eye. Like, oh, 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 Texas, you went to Texas? Paris, yeah. <laughs> Someone had painted a plankton on this really? wall in Paris. Someone painted plankton. It was uh, me. <laughs> right. A plankton one. Oh, yeah. Yes. Uh, and tell me what life situation that you would use that meme in. Just every morning lately. <laughs> 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 yeah. All right, there's Patrick. Oh, ain't yeah. I a stinker? It's the ain't I a stinker look. That's probably for any evil, right? Like when you go, me when I, uh, you know, uh, take a bite out of the candy in the candy sampler and then don't like it and put it back. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Oh, you don't remember the episode. <laughs> Seems to be just like sheer delight. I know, right? right? Like, like me on free ice cream day. We got one more. There's a there's a riff on that one where it's the same pose, except it says, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I love that one. I don't care. <laughs> okay, out of all of you, who has sent a meme featuring their character as somebody? Oh, I yeah? Send them. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sure. yeah, all the time. And then I thought, is that weird? Like, I'm happy birthday, but it's me saying that. And I was like, maybe I should do something yeah. else. I'm I like sending the one yeah. where Mr. Krabs is playing the world's smallest violin. <laughs> That's my favorite to send to people. Like, shut up. Oh, <laughs> let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. This is serious. I know. This really is the world's smallest violin. What advice would Plankton give his younger self? I'd probably <laughs> kick him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Come to Papa! How would Sandy describe herself in one word? 
Really? One four. Thanks, a fabulous. Look, Patrick, I'm Texas. Hey, howdy, y'all. <laughs> Yo, best cut it out. Tom, what's your personal favorite SpongeBob line to say? You do like Krabby Patties, don't you, Squidward? No. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, what is the most cathartic thing to scream as Patrick? My name's not Rick! <laughs> Roger, what would Squidward's best comeback to Squilliam be? Squilliam fancy son from band class? I really don't like you, and I stole your underwear in school. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Clancy. How would Carl Sagan sound if he was voiced by Mr. Krabs? <laughs> will there be a Patchy the Pirate standalone film? Keep your eyes peeled. There Nasty. will be a standalone Patchy the Pirate live action feature coming to a Metroplex near you as soon as more than, than four people express an interest. <laughs> <laughs> Longevity like this show has is reserved for true animated classics. When did it dawn on any of you that SpongeBob had kind of moved into the next level of success? Two years after we started, I was on the street and uh, somebody, I, I had just casually, Like living? Yeah, I was on the street. Yeah, I was laying on the street actually. Someone walked over me and I, and I said, uh, I happen to work on this particular show. And their eyes got big as saucers and their jaw drops. And they said, no way, you guys are so hip. And I thought we were onto something, and then I saw all the merchandise which we have uh, we've, uh, yeah. we've seen. So I knew that something was getting going at that moment. When I would pick up my daughters at the elementary school, and I'd get the Beatles treatment by all the kids running at me, going, "Patrick!" Oh, wow! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it definitely came in waves. Like you know, like people come and tell you their story, and they want to tell you, "Hey, right. this is what SpongeBob got me through or meant to me," and uh, that's where it really is heavy. So I want to talk about Steve <clears throat> Hillenberg, who created SpongeBob SquarePants. He passed away in 2018, but he is still in every fiber of this show. Why was show creator Steve Hillenberg so special? For me, I will always uh, think back uh, with great fondness of the first couple seasons when he was our session director, and he would very often set up a table and a chair in the booth with us. And he'd be doodling and he'd give us notes and he was really shared the experience with us in a unique way and a way that was uniquely him too. You run across very few people in life where you, you connect with them immediately mm -hmm. and you just, yes, you get me, I get you. And he's just one of that, those people that I ran across. I definitely look at knowing him, you know, he's a very sweet guy and a dear friend of ours and changed our lives just by bringing us into this yeah. idea that he had and that he pitched and he thought of us for, but he's one of those very few people you meet in your life that you know is just gonna stay in your consciousness forever. All right, last question, very serious. How many more years do we have until everything becomes chrome? Uh, what's going on here? Why is everything chrome? Everything is chrome in the future. Like Bob, SpongeBob predicted. <laughs> <laughs> wow. How many years? I, I think everything's, I, I don't think it's chrome. I think it's plastic. It's, we're, we're all becoming covered in plastic. plastic I think yeah. it'll be next Wednesday when everything's <laughs> Next Wednesday? Cool. <laughs>